Yo, this is Don't Flop, the hunger for more. If you're hungry for a sick battle, make some noise right yeah. now. Yeah. Yes. Don'tflop.com. Big up Michael Parkinson from YNR in the building. Shout out everyone else from the Don't Flop crew in the spot, man. We're here at Fiddler's Elbow, North London, Camden. This is the top eight tournament, the top eight try MCs from January. A girl at it in the tournament. This is round one, and the winner gets a big international clash in the summer. Opponent isn't decided yet. Hit at Don't Flop to let me know you think one. Hit at Twitter, Facebook, or uh, .com when we post the battle. Blah, blah, blah. You know what's good. All right, on the left hand side from London, killed his tryout. Back for battle number two, C Major. Let's go. Yeah. Gotta be sick. And on the right, he was the other guy in the first battle of 2012 ever filmed right here in Enigma. Make some noise. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta be a nuts battle. Enigma won the flip. He chose 90 seconds on C major. Let's go. Yo, see, you ain't made, you ain't made for battling. But if you wanna keep doing this shit, word of advice, take your address off of Google, you div. I mean, who is this enigma? I'm not even Scooby sure. But I know this, you'll be turning Moses after this battle. So embarrassed that you'll be moving, sure. Cause it's not like I've ever had a challenge like you before. Lanky, bald, ish. Long neck. Not like I've ever battled someone like you before I mean looking like Young Maze part 2 I'm bored, but see, anything goes If it's war, then it's war You try to snoop for info But I'm raw to the core So curiosity killed the cat Now they ain't sure of the cause I just put a monkey on your head for acting curious, George <laughs> See, I was dying to write So when I write, you die Bars and bullets everywhere You can try to survive See, entry fees, we all pay 25, alright? But for your exit wounds, I'll be paying 25 to life. Oh. 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 Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. So fuck this guy, fuck his rhymes. He don't spit an ounce of substance, right? You couldn't say as much as me in a verse if you were spitting double time. So fuck this guy, fuck his life. You are what you eat, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Evidently, his favourite takeaway was spud you like. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I speak with a lisp because of an accident in school. You speak like a bitch or someone's clamping on your balls. I mean, I mean, I, mean, I wanted a rapper to battle, but you gave me this considerate guy. Well, consider this right. I wanted a real rapper to battle, and you give me this guy? Well, understand why I don't give two shits for this. Time. Mm. Time. 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 I don't understand why you gave me this motherfucker to clash me. You talk about me looking like a potato, I guess that explains why your mum keeps trying to mash me. <laughs> and I hope in your next round this fucking farmer chokes. You're the kind of guy who's like, balls against jokes. Then why the fuck in your last battle did you bring along that retard boat? He's behind you like, brip, brip, brip. <laughs> next time, leave that fucking Quasimodo rat back at your flat. And anyway, I'm back in the Phyllis Elbow battling C major. You're a prick with a horrific lisp. Get a fucking speech trainer. <laughs> you speak like you're trying to eat quavers while someone slashes your teeth with three razors and zaps you in the face from space with special futuristic heat lasers. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. And why the fuck am I battling this fake Muslim who talks like, yeah, come here, my dogs be getting in this green paper. And don't think when I cut the grass that I can't see haters. <laughs> Mother Motherfucker, you're as threatening as steam vapor. If, if you're a Mexican, I'd have you working and serving me as my personal bean waiter. I'm a grown ass man with two kids, an ex wife, two jobs. You're still just a motherfucking teenager. And your life's a disaster. And those glasses are because you have issues with DNA. If I did your GCSEs for you, that's the only way C would have a CNA. See, I can do the wordplay too, cunt, but I can do it better. You talk about man stacking a peas. Sucking a dick is the only time you get the cheddar. You got a, you got a weedy little white, white frame. Your eyes are big, your glass have wide frames. You can't test the endless hours of college to power knowledge inside my brain. You think you're smart, but you look like an anorexic, dyslexic version of Niles Crane. <laughs> Yo, from Fraser. And, and your speech impediment is incredibly wild. You spit with an irrelevant style like a degenerate child and those big bunny teeth yours give you a terrible smile. And I watched all of your freestyle videos. If your child was that depressing and vile, why don't you shut the fuck up about and go deal with it on Jeremy Kyle? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And don't let a motherfucking slogan on my t-shirt confuse you because I live in the dirty south. To say some shit I don't like, I'll come down to East London, kick in your urban house, slap the shit out of you and stick my dick in your mum's herpes mouth. <laughs> and don't think just because you stalked me on Twitter, 
at Nick McKelly. Everyone follow me, at Nick McKelly. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think just because you stalk me on Twitter that means you know me. You're weak, brittle and bony. If you say anything that pisses me off, I'll get your girl there on both knees, but I won't get her to blow me. I'll get my three-year-old daughter to shoot her in the face because I'm sicker than Joseph Coney. Let's go! <laughs> Yo, I right, see major, let's go. George Kelly. Hmm. See, it's ironic that you want to be a public star. Blood, you'll never be as big as your uncle or see Kelly got his surname tattooed on his neck and his arm. <laughs> got his surname tattooed on his neck and his arm because he's desperate for people to know who the fuck you are. Yeah, I mean, you did a tomb of Sam Pepper. Yeah, you get some views. My last hype man deserves more respect than you. C yeah. might look like the geekiest MC hair, but we all know E equals MC square. Yeah. Yo, you're, the most, yo, you're the most generic don't flop rapper that I've ever seen. You follow the book, that's some bullshit I would never read. So if you want to put him on a pedestal, let it be. But when I kick him off, just know that's because that's where I'm meant to be. And I mean, yes. fuck this guy's lame. Try touching my lane, take care, or it's over. You funny looking, ugly, crooked, chubby, white Drake. I mean. <laughs> Look, you went on dating in the dark, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> You're dating in the dark, bruv, so you either desperate for attention or have a hard time approaching women. Not hard to believe, when you look like a real-life Homer Simpson. Oh! And I did my research on you, and there's one thing that I clocked, and that's that you don't ever get the dough from winning. I know you hold this different, but oh no it isn't. You came to the fiddlers to get your ass kicked. You can fuck off back to moles for drinking. So you are what you eat, but me as pussy as this meal? Oh please, I'ma chew you up and spit you back to Springfield, homie. <laughs> Yo, you said I don't get the dough for winning. I lost dating in the dark and I still got paid. Then I went to your mum's house and she got aid. And when you're saying shit, get you. <laughs> Look, the fact is, I don't understand how anyone could be that white. And this is my son's name and my daughter's name, so next time get your motherfucking facts right. Yes. And you're the kind of guy who says, because instead of because. That doesn't make you sound hard, it makes you sound like a cock. <laughs> And he's the kind of guy who says, no homo, while well, sucking a dick. When, <laughs> when you talk, I feel to fucking punch out your lisp. And now that I've seen your girl, I also feel to punch out your bitch. Wow. Oh! And, and on your Facebook, you wrote, rest in peace, Whitney. Learn to spell, her name's Whitney, you little chief. <laughs> don't, don't you, don't you realise you talk like this when you speak? Can somebody please fix this motherfucker's teeth? Your breast smells worse than when Mr. Tongue Twister queefs. And, I, and I, I've already battled C. Taylor, Mr. Tongue Twister, and he's sick. Now I'm battling C. Major, the bum licker, and he's shit. How did this happen? Er could have given me a challenge. Eat, orcs, and impact the Bamalam. Instead of fought to battle a pikey with a lisp who looks like he lives in a caravan. You're so skinny, you probably constantly think that it's Ramadan, but you're allowed a fucking sandwich. Just make sure it doesn't have any ham. And I hope no one considers this as me being racist. I just think this guy's more shameful to Islam than a pagan and a poor kid atheist or a teenage rapist. No, I'm not dissing Islam. I'm dissing this man. This little bitch dick fan with a fucked up chin span. Your draw is the width of six strands or an audience of big hands. <laughs> the fact is you're a fake, you're a lie and you're garbage. You call yourself C Major like it hard. But your real name's Marcus. No. And, and if this battle was being marked by Mark Chris, I'd get an A star, you'd get a B plus. So why don't you see yourself out to the back of the green bus, swallow some D with the rest of the freak fucks popping in and go eat nuts. And I got a confession to make. I eat your monk she has beautiful G cups. No. And talk about me being a potato, but you spot people like you call your G. What's up, my dude? I'll ride through your mosque in the middle of a typhoon with dirty night shoes, nine goons, five Jews, a line of white dudes spitting haikus <laughs> over the top of your monotonous grime shoes, just so I can fight you and stick the motherfucker. Devil inside you. Yo, and, and I'm not I'm not saying this next bit to spite you, but the reason you're the only January try who I don't follow on Twitter and is on my Facebook is because I don't fucking like you. Time! Woo!
Matey, please. The only competition in this competition's Bamalam. I'm just here to run through E and I, G M A to B. See, you're a writer. Well, the way you write your basic schemes got me convinced you ain't the writer that you claim to be. See, I'm a real rapper on tracks. I show pain, I bleed. You one of them fake, do anything for the fame MCs. And yet the pain runs deep. You ain't the same as me. If I put the Stanley, the Kelly, you still couldn't relate to me. <laughs> I mean, you got a tattoo on your arm. What's that? Your, uh, your little girl's name in remembrance of fam? Well, just know accepting this, you're damned because you just became a walking contradiction. You already had an angel on your arm, but you just put a red headed devil on your back. So it's back to the ends with your head severed in a bag. Mm. Have a laugh. Little Georgie thinks that he's a rapper now because he wrote some battle bars. <laughs> fuck that. Battle. <laughs> fuck that battle guard. Chinna with a champion stance. I'll be smacking him backwards till I tan him like a salmon's ass. You're more jokes than bars, pussy. You should be a stand up star. Cause poet against poet, he knows it There's no way this guy stands a chance So let's, let's have it You more Britpop than hip hop In battles you don't fit, flip bars You Ashton from JLS backflip So let's have it so, so let's have it You are not a rap fan just cause your diary reads Welcome to the journals of a meth addict I mean, all due respect Your tune was Sam Pepper's nine kid Cause I like the salt and I like the pepper on a fucking egg sandwich. <laughs> <See it. laughs> See choose like that. The reason I can't stomach the reason choose like that. But the reason I can't stomach the game. The fact you think you're a rapper basically sums up your name. And most people don't get recognition till you're dead. So be thankful, body bag. You're about to come into fame. <laughs> Your mum is a fat dyke <laughs> and I told you in my rebuttal in the last round that this is my daughter, this is my son, get your motherfucking facts right! <laughs> and you play the nerd angle, it's already been done, you're just an inferior copycat. Now I'm about to teach you about motherfucking body bag. Cause in your- Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> See, and I rhymed. See, in my last battle, in the last battle you said you're Muslim, but you must have been kidding. Cause in the Quran it's clearly written, the music is haram and expressly forbidden. Yet here you are in front of Allah and spitting, which means you're so fake you even snaked your own fucking religion. <laughs> You, you disrespect your profit just so you can get some profit. Yeah, you're making jack shit off it, so you may as well stop it. And please don't say she like mangoes ham on the beat, because you're Muslim, so that shit is way too fucking ironic. <laughs> and here's some advice: when you're when you're rapping, stop touching your nose. Allah will not be happy to find out you've been fucking with coke. Oh. And, <laughs> and, and why? Why the fuck does this ugly cunt look like a mix between a monk and a goat? And, and as part of your religion, you're meant to pray five times a day. You are on your knees that much, but that's because you're gay. <laughs> also, I noticed you've got your beard trimmed. You're meant to let that sugar naturally, so cutting it is also a sin. So what's that, like four, five? I guess we could add more. Pride, arrogance, have I covered all angles? What about the fact you're not allowed to wear trousers that cover your ankles? And I also did my research. I know that Maria Nakuda is your girlfriend and lover. That's also haram, because in your religion, you're not allowed to acknowledge any women other than your wife, your sisters, or your mother. So unless you marry that bitch on the sly, you're pissing off your king in the sky every single time that you fuck her. Oh. I, I just, I feel like, I feel like this guy should be practicing what he's preaching. Follow what you believe in. It's like I gotta research the facts of your own religion just so I can teach him. Your laid back style is so boring if you start spitting in the morning by the time you reach your night bar it'd be evening. Three weeks later. <laughs> and, and everything I said about Islam is 100% truthful. If you don't believe me after this battle, get onto your phones, add me on Twitter first, and, <laughs> and then do some research on Google. So I suggest you give up your pitiful mission to win this, stop committing your sins because everyone here is a witness, give up spitting for a living, get the fuck out of this building, go home, bow to the east and pray for forgiveness. Judge Enigma vs C Major. You know what? It's a fucking close battle, but I'm gonna have to give it to C Major on a Liverpool level. But... Yo, it's a boy, I mean, that was a fucking ill battle. I'm gonna give it to Enigma. C Major came real nice, but Enigma destroyed him. Peace. Uh, 
Alright, it's Mr. 13, man. One of the ones where I'm regretting judging, but we're down here. I've got to pick a winner. It's so close. I mean, Enigma put on such an amazing performance, but it's like C Major. It, like, I don't know, man. He called him out about the generic thing, and if I'm honest, bruv, I just felt like some of it was a bit generic, like I kind of heard it before. Like, and we're like, he, Enigma completely outperformed him, and it's about a battle. It's live, you know what I'm saying? But the, the bars, C Major, and it's not like C Major had a bad performance, so. Fuck it, I'm gonna edge it slightly. Slightly to see a major. Fuck it. Yo, it's Don't Flop. It's your boy, uh, Mickey Worthers. Everyone in the fucking building, man. Like I said, hit me at Don't Flop at Twitter. Let me know who you think won. We had the final battle of the day of the top eight tournament. Two crazy spitters who tried out in January. Enigma, C Major. Show some love if you enjoyed that battle. Yeah. One decision, the judge was deliberating for time. 2-1, they gave it a C major win. Yeah. 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 Yeah.